What's good, yo? You know what it is, yo. It's D-Pain. You know what it is. I'm out here with Island. I'm about to shoot the exclusive, exclusive interview for Ocean State of Mind Volume 2. Ocean State of Mind. What influenced you to make a part two? You know, I contemplated, you know what I'm saying, even making music anymore in general. You know, until like, you know, it never, it never left me, you know what I'm saying, wanting to make music, but you know, certain things in my life happened that influenced me to like, need an outlet to vent. So, when my son passed away, I decided that I had to go back to the studio and I had to make an album. And if I was going to make it, it had to be for Rhode Island. So, after I started getting into the project and like making the songs, it just only seemed fitting that it be, you know, part two to Ocean State of Mind. So that's why I decided to do like the Ocean State of Mind volume two. How many tracks do you actually have on this album? 23. 23 tracks. 23 songs. Ooh. Nobody's done that in a long time. Technically, it's a double CD, but I have enough material, you know what I'm saying, to do it. So I'm not just gonna like be stingy with my material. I've worked too hard, so I'm just gonna put it all out. I right. give them a whole bunch to listen to for a while. Just drop a lot of videos and just, you know, just take that one foundation and just push real hard. You know what I'm saying? How many videos did you do for the album? So far, nine. Word. And we got, and we got two more booked already, so it'll be 11. Word. 11 out of 23, the album's not out yet, we got 11 videos shot. Word. Some of the people have done some of the videos on oh, the man. album. John Green, Flawless Visuals. Word. Um, there's, there's, there's been a lot of collaborations, you know what I'm saying? But like, I got some people that are like the go-to people for me right now, you know? Like you did two songs with Tone Eiffel on the album. Oh, yeah. Me and him have a vibe in the studio, you know, he's a real professional. And um, every time that I ask him to come to the studio, he always delivers. And me and him got a vibe, and he's a, he's a good dude aside from music. So that means a lot to me, you know, because it's a lot about someone's character. And if I'm going to ride with you, you know what I'm saying, I need you to, you know, and I, need, I need to just know that you're, you know, if I can put the stamp on you, I can bring you anywhere, and you're not going to, you know, it's just not going to get funny. Tone's a real dude, man, and you know, his music is on point, and I respect him, and I'm a fan of his music, and I'm also, you know what I'm saying, we're friends, so. Oh, yeah. But, Earlier on in the year, you did a um, did a video with Noriega, yep. Dabs and Hash Oil. Shout out, Nori. Sig, the finest is what up. How was that? I mean, every artist growing up, you know what I'm saying, definitely, you know what I'm saying, is a fan of somebody's. And, you know, growing up, I was definitely, you know, a CNN fan. And, you know, we ended up meeting at the Cannabis All-Stars, you know what I'm saying? We did some shows together. And we just developed kind of like a relationship with his people and my people. And we hung out many times before we actually got in the studio and did anything. Right. So we were already cool. So, I mean, to have a platinum artist on your album and you're relatively unknown, really and then have the video with that artist and they'll be able to like hang oh, yeah. out with that person. I mean, Nori came to my house. Out of control. Nori came to my crib, he hanged out at my house, we smoked all day, we made that song. I had my record release party, Nori, Nori hit me up, you know what I'm saying, he knew what my record release party was, he flew out here, he performed at my record release party in my backyard. I was Shit. there for that night, it was a dope night, definitely dope night, definitely dope night. So let's talk about, like I know a lot of the tracks on the album had uh, a producer that you were that you're doing stuff with I hear a lot about him you know what I'm saying Ray Beats obviously I support him shout out Ray Beats 808 Germany we, we, we doing shit overseas man you know I got I was like halfway into the middle of the project you know what I mean and um I know this rapper out in California you know what I'm saying named Paradox and we did a joint together and the producer was Ray Ray liked the song after I did my part and he hit me up and then he sent me a beat, you know what I'm saying? And um that was it. You know, now he's probably got I think he's produced like five or six tracks on Ocean State of Mind Volume 2. Word up. Ray, we gotta get Ray to the United States, man, and that's something that I definitely have on my agenda is yep. to bring him to the US and you know, this dude, me and him don't even speak 
the, our conversations are so crazy, but our music is like, you know, and we never met each other, but we have a relationship. We talk like almost every day. He's like, he's like my brother, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. <clears throat> so, you know, it's crazy how, how music is such a universal language. You can become friends with somebody and create music together, and I've never met this dude, and he's from a different country. You know, after this album drops, and you know, you give it to the people, you know, some of these people have been actually waiting a long time for this. You know, so like, you know, like, what are you, what are you gonna give to them after? after? Right after Ocean State of Mind, I got Salt Water Trap Music Volume 2 mixtape coming out. Where? I got the High Society album coming out. Where? With me, Guala, and, and Zaya. I got another album coming out on Valentine's Day called Beauty and the Beast. You know what I'm saying? With me and a, and a female yeah. singer. Word so it's, I got projects like ready. I got a couple things going on with um, a couple movies that I've been asked to be in. Um, oh, so I'm just doing a lot of, I'm just really doing me right now, man. I'm really focused in on what I got to do to make it a success at this point. Word up. I've lost everything, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's only up from here. So now my game plan, my attitude, my train of thought, my mind frame, the way I'm thinking is just success, man. And, and nothing's gonna stop me at this point. And, and I won't allow nothing to stop me. And that's just the way that it is, man. I'm on some real rugged beast mode shit right now. My attitude sucks and I'm just an animal right now. And I'm just in full out beast mode. And that's, and if you wanna be successful in this game, that better be your attitude. If, Cause if that's not your attitude, you're gonna get stepped on and walked over and abused and you're gonna hang by the strings of a puppeteer and you're gonna be someone's bitch. Do you have any people that like obviously like you know that you support like you got a shirt right here on the chair here you got all the people that yeah man you, you know, know like these dudes out in Jersey these beer unit dudes you know what I'm saying like every year they just keep on sending me these clothes man you know like that's what's good yeah I, I support them they listen to my music I send them my CDs they're some of the first people to get it you know so, yeah, they, shout you know, out to the beard unit. Shout yeah, out to shout out to the beard unit, man. Jersey all day. Word up. Yeah, man. So, it's all about networking, man. And, you know, people got to like you, man, to even think about entertaining, listening to your music, you know? Word up. Why someone don't want to listen to some music if they're not, you know, interested in who you are as a person? You know what I'm saying? Just, they got to gotta give them something. So these people, you know what I'm saying, like, we talk, we have a relationship, they give me feedback, we communicate, we talk, we become friends, and they're supporters, and that's the kind of like positive vibes and energy that you need to keep an artist like thriving to do better, you know? There's a lot of rappers in the game right now, man, trying to trying to do it, but you gotta find ways to separate yourself from them and, and show your growth and why you're here and why they're there, you know? In a humble way. And I live footprints in the sand with an ocean state of mind. I'm in Rhode Island's where I am. Smaller state up on the map. We attacking you where you stand. It's that